I'll read. When the word, when the word came to Sanballat, when the word came to Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies, that I had rebuilt the wall and not a gap was left in it, though up to that time I had not set the doors in the gate, Sanballat and Geshem sent this message. Come, let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Ono. But they were scheming to harm me. So I sent messengers to them with this reply. I am carrying on a great project and cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and go down to you? Four times they sent me the same message. And each time I gave them the same answer. Then the fifth time, Sandbalad sent his assistant to me with the same message. And in his hand was an unsealed letter in which was written, It is reported among the nations, and Geshem says it is true, that you and the Jews are plotting to revolt, and therefore you are building the wall. Moreover, according to this report, you are about to become their king, and have even appointed prophets to make this proclamation about you in Jerusalem. There is a king in Judah. Now this report will get back to the king. So come, let us meet together. I sent him this reply. Nothing like what you are saying is happening. You are just making it up on your head. They were all trying to frighten us, thinking their hands will get too weak for the work and they will not be complete. But I prayed, now strengthen my hands. One day, I went to the house of Shemaiah, son of Deliah, the son of Mehatabel, who was shut in at his home. He said, let us meet in the house of God inside the temple, and let us close the temple doors, because men are coming to kill you. By night, they are coming to kill you. But I said, should a man like me run away, or should someone like me go into the temple to save his life? I will not go. I realized that God had not sent him, but that he had prophesied against me because Tobiah and Sanballat and hired him. He had been hired to intimidate me so that I would commit a sin by doing this. Then they would give me a bad name to discredit me. Remember Tobiah and Sanballat, my God, because of what they have done. Remember also the prophet Nodiah, Noadia, and how she and the rest of the prophets have been trying to intimidate me. So, the war was completed on the 25th of Elul in 52 days. When all our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence because they realized that this work can be done with the help of our God. Also, in those days, the nobles of Judah were sending many letters to Tobiah and replies from Tobiah kept coming to them. For many in Judah were under the oath to him, since he was a son-in-law to Shekaniah, son of Ara, and his son Jehohanan had married the daughter of Meshula, Meshulam, son of Berechia. Moreover, they, ke they kept reporting to me his good deeds, and then telling him what I said. And Tobiah sent letters to intimidate me. Allow me to continue uh, in chapter 7 up to verse 3. After the wall had been built and I had set the doors in place, the gatekeepers, the musicians, and the Levites were appointed. I put in charge of Jerusalem my brother Hanan, along with Ananiah, the commander of the citadel, because he was a man of integrity and feared God more than most people do. I said to them, the gate of Jerusalem are not to be opened until the sun is hot. While the gatekeepers are still on duty, make them shut the doors and bar them. Also appoint residents of Jerusalem as guards, some at their posts and some near the houses. Verse 4, now the city was large and spacious, but there were few people in it, and the houses had not yet been rebuilt. So my God, verse 5, put into my heart to assemble the nobles, the officials, and the common people for registration by families. I found the genealogical record of those who had been the first to return. This is what I found written there. I won't go to the names. Um, that is the word of God. We can, yes, we can say praise be to God for some of you. And then please say hi to the person next, next to you. Ensure you are not sitting alone. Mkaribisha kwa service. Wenye mkonyuma tafadhali karibieni mbele. Please uh, don't sit alone. Go near someone. Let's enjoy our fellowship this day. And you can have your seat. And the Lord bless you.
Amen. Amen. You can have our seats. Abarizenu Life Spring Chapel. How are you? I can't hear people. How is everybody? Good, 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 good. I am delighted to see all of you. Nafurai sana. Asanteni sana kwa kukuja siku ya leo. I believe Mungu ndiye uwezesha mtu ku kuamua, kuamka na kufanya all matairisho zote aweze kufika hapa. Can we celebrate God just by a clap? Nataka tupigie Mungu makofi. I also want to affirm yourself. Thank you so much for coming and the Lord bless us today. Siku ya leo nataka tusome um, the major title in Naitwa The Devil's Opposition and God's Ultimate Victory. So you may not get the whole of that word. But I will be talking, I'll be mentioning the devil so much in this sermon. Saitani. Ngoma. Ngoma. Omusuku. <laughs> Eh? Uh, Saitani Mumaida. That's, that's like, which language is that? What do you call Saitan, the devil in uh, Kikamba? Uh -huh. Mumaida. Mumaida is the enemy, right? Eh? Ibilisi Daimono. She does, isn't it? I'll be mentioning the devil so much in this. Not because I, I love him, but because I hate him. And because I want us to hate him. Hate him more together. Amen? But at the end, I hope uh, I will exhort the name of the Lord. I pray that you will see God lifted and that we will win our victories in God even in this year. Praise God. So the devil, Satan, his real name or his name is the adversary. Adversary is an is an opponent. Is a rival, is an enemy. So when we hear the name devil, that's who he is. Now, that's Satan. Now, the devil, so Satan is his name. Then the devil is what we call the descriptive of whom he is. Now, the devil is called a slanderer. Slanderer is someone who thinks, speaks, and plans against others. So key thing about the devil is that the devil is God's enemy. And the fact that he is God's enemy means that he is our enemy too. Now, Satan, the devil, the evil one, that's who he is. James tells us that if you submit to God and resist the devil, what will he do? Paul says that we put on the full armor of God so that we can do what? Stand against the devil's evil schemes. Paul tells us to be alert and sober minded because our enemy, the devil, prowls around. Now, prowling is if some of you have watched uh, is it called Nat Geo? I'm in Tango, Yoki Pindia Wanyama. When you see a lion when it's, when it's hunting, when it sees an antelope, what it does, I could jangi at the lion of Judah in Akuja. The lion never does that. The lion will often go to where there is long grass, right? And it will come pole pole. The antelope is, is having a good time. Eh? Inafanya jokes na wengine. In a watch memes, in a pigana I five, in a fanya oh everything. Iko iko tu in a jibamba. And then the lion is coming and coming. And some of us uki watch you na tijio na kuanga karibu. You even almost wish you were there and tell the antelope, like <laughs> you're feeling. Uh, 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 so the lion is coming and it's coming and it's coming and we will go up and you're feeling. Uh, and then it strikes at once. And you're that's how the devil, he, he prowls. So the word, the word prowls exactly looks like that. It is to come, okay, 
The devil does that. The devil comes like that and Peter is telling us, be sober and alert. Paul is telling us, is it for Peter? Yes, Peter is telling us, please, we should know. And that's what I'm trying meant today to do to you. Tell like, yes, yes, yes. So, this devil, where did he come from? We... <laughs> So in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 1, I want to talk And he is disguised in the form of a serpent. Now, snakes are not devils. Can we agree on that? So snakes are not devils. Only the devil alikuja akakua disguised. He is disguised in the serpent. Um... And what he does when he appears, the first thing he does is deception. He deceives the first human beings. Not to, not to, to go out when they're supposed to be in, but to do the most worst sin, and that is to rebel against God. So he can't, that's what he came and did the very first time. Now scholars point to the origin of devil to be even more than Apo chapter 3, ni venya metokea tu. So, alitoka mahali. Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 12 to 9, speaks, and when I'm talking about these verses, the projection team, you are able to locate them and put them, and people to read as I talk, I may not read them. So, Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 12, um, speaks about him as someone, as one who was once a divine being. Alikuwa ambaye alikuwa na divinity alikuwa uko juu na Mungu and then alikuwa na what you call a seal of perfection alikuwa na full of wisdom na pia alikuwa na perfect beauty so alikuwa perfect alikuwa na kila kitu ambayo anyone can have but then something happened his heart became proud and corrupted his beauty isaiah tells that he is a fallen angel. And what did he do? Is that he sought the throne of God. And therefore was brought down. Aliamua e ikiti ikiti apana. Angajadipu kukua yawe. Na wakwezi kwa na yawe wawili. Yawe ni moja tu. He's the one who is exalted. He's the one who is created. He's never created. And so because they can't Satan can't be Yahweh. He was drawn and removed from his original place. So, Satan has only... So, he, he, so he was drawn from there. That is his origin. What is his, the devil's purpose? The devil's purpose is to prevent God's plan, number one. To destroy God's work, number two. And to rob God his glory. To prevent God's plan, the devil knows God has a plan. He has a plan with your life. He has a plan with my life. He has a plan with the Christian life. And he wants to prevent it. But he wants to destroy God's work. Anajua, kuna kazi ya mungu. Ambayo inakuja kufanyika. And he wants to, to, to destroy it. But the biggest one, yenye zafanya, devil alale na viatu. So happy that you know. He wants to rob God his glory. If he's able to rob God his glory by snatching you or by snatching me, ah, the devil's day is made. He's able to do that. Now, he can't approach God. He can't dare God because devil na Satan ibilisi awakwangi equals you will never meet devil na, 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 na God at wa meko kwa ring at wa nataka kufight. At the very presence of God, the devil vanishes. Aezi muendua. They can't, they, their powers are not measured. So, if you ever think the devil and God are fighting moja kwa inside, mgone inside, iyo ni wongo. God is not just, just, just allowing the devil because it's the powers of the devil can never be compared with God. Let the people of God know that. So his target, 
Because he knows he can't face God. His target is human beings. Those whom God has loved and put his image in. That is his target. So, he knows, because he's an enemy of God, if he is able to keep blind those who don't know God, and then lead us astray, those who know God, then we say that his day is made. So friends, Satan is our enemy. He hates us. We can only hate him more. Amen? We can only hate him. Shindwe, Satan. Shindwe, Satan. Today I want us to, through the book of Nehemiah chapter 6 and 7, I want us to learn about Satan schemes. Satan schemes. The book of Ephesians tells us that the devil operates in schemes. And Nehemiah 6 and 7 will point us to that. Then you'll see how Nehemiah responds and we pray that he can give us understanding of how God would desire us to respond when the devil comes with all schemes. And my prayer again, brethren, on Bilangu Nyakwamba, will be equipped to stand against the devil's schemes. Resist him, and that none of us will find ourselves as prey. Hakuna mojitu wetu watajipata akiwa kale ka antelope. Either being killed or being damaged by this devil. So in this chapter 6 and 7, we'll be viewing Tobias, Sanbalat, and Geshem as enemies of God. Now, I am not doing this so that anyone you, who opposes you, umuita shetani, and I wouldn't want you to do that. I'm not calling you, know, I oppose, you as, oppose you as the devil. I want you to look at Tobias and Balat and Geshem. I want you to look at what they did and explain to you why I believe that they were not operating from just a, a human power wanting thing. So when you read the book of Ezra, the same squad, Tobias and but I don't know if they were just the three of them, but he opposed the rebuilding of the temple. Now the, the temple signified worship. So what they are trying to do literally is to prevent the worship of God. There's only one who will prevent the worship of God, and that is the devil. Now, Nehemiah has come to build a wall. And this wall is meant for the flourishing of the people of Israel. Now, the people of the biblical Israel walikuwa mechagulua na mungu specifically to be used as a mission agent for God. God says that I chose them. So anyone who tried to oppose Israel was directly opposing God. And the devil used so many to oppose because they knew this is God's blessing, chosen one. So that's why Tobias and Balat and, and, um, and Geshem, as we look today, we're looking at them and looking at the schemes of the devil that are working through them. And our prayer is that God will lead us to, uh, to, to worship him and, and uh, to give glory to him. So Satan schemes. Satan schemes. Verses 1 to 4 of Nehemiah, we are told that the word of God came to Sanballat, Tobias, and Geshem, and they were told, and the rest of the enemies of the people of Israel, and they were told that the wall would be rebuilt and there was no gap that was left in it. And Nehemiah says that though by that time, Aku America Badu Milango. And these people, when they heard this, they came with the very first scheme of the devil which was deception, which would lead to, to, to harm. So when they hear that, hey, mipango inaendelea vizuri, au watu wa mungu wako sawa, vile alisikia ya kwamba, job, job wako sawa, job wanaendelea vizuri, na akasema scheme number one, deception. So Nehemiah is, Finishing being the temple, anapata report, anambiwa, niaje, unaitua. 
ni aje you are being called. Na nani? Tobias, Saint Bellet. Akeshem. Ah. Aje. Si hawa ndio nyuma nyuma hapa waliposikia nimekuja walisema umekuja nini? Unataka ku rebel against the king. Kidogo kidogo kasikia tumeanza kazi wakasema hiyo kazi hakuna kitu iko hapo. Hiyo ukuta ata fox akikanyanga tu hivi itaanguka wanataka to meet aje sasa and very fast Nehemiah realized this was a scheme and very fast he says in that verse I've had a message two message chapter verse 2 and I said my party was coming to harm me and when I was reading this I wondered alijua aje alijua aje wana scheme alijuaje and there is something called spiritual wisdom and understanding tell your neighbor spiritual wisdom and understanding aambie mwingine mwenye hujaambia sasa spiritual wisdom and understanding mwenye uko the other side spiritual wisdom and understanding friends the bible has spoken that and you look at Ephesians 1:17 and Colossians one verse nine. Paul is praying and praying that the children of God may have spiritual wisdom and understanding. It is something we can pray. It is that which, by God's grace, we are able to know what God wants. It's able to make us respond the way God would want us to respond. It is not instinct. Malo was saying, instinct." Sio instinct najua go instinct si mbaya and I'm not trying to trash instinct. Sio instinct, sio ka feeling, sio moyo kaniambia. Moyo moyo utakudanganya. Instinct is ta kudanganya. Na mnajua instinct zimewadanganya mara nyingi, si ndio? Umepata ka instinct to I mean najua especially for mothers God in his own way has used them miraculously. But something called spiritual wisdom and understanding which is far more than inside uh, instinct um, uh, ka feeling and it's that thing that god is able to make us be able to know what he wants we are we have an enemy the devil be able to know when the devil schemes are upon us and we are able to escape and be victors in jesus name now when nehemiah hears this I love his response. I love his response so much. I love his response. He says, I am carrying on a great project and I cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and go down to you? Very firm project. I am carrying on a great project. I know what I am doing. I know where I am is what I need to be. I'm going to stick to this project. I will not leave Bethlehem. I want you to know that oh no, this place you are calling him to was outside the territory of the Jews. So literally, wanampeleka kando, wanamtoa from where there is even the security of the Jews and telling him, come, come, kuja kando. And Nehemiah knows, no, I am in the place of protection. I will not move from there. I believe Nehemiah read Psalm chapter 1 and he knows that blessed is the man who does not sit in the seat of scoffers, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor walk in the path of mockers. He knew that and so he knew I have no relationship with the evil one. I will not go to them. Because as Paul says in 2 Corinthians, what relationship does the godly have with the ungodly? The Baal have with God. What relationship? And he says, separate. Separate. I believe Nehemiah alitafakari akajua ya kwamba nikijaribu kuondoka tu hapa. The next day and ataskia. I mean, ataskia jua takua gone. But those who will be left, the Judeans, wataskia. 
and our new, on a news bulletin, Nehemiah was found dead as he walked on his way to Ono. His horse stumbled on a rock and rambled on the ground and all effort to save him went in vain. May his soul rest in peace. He knew that that would be the news next time. And God gave him the spiritual wisdom and understanding. And he chose to stick onto the project that God and called him to stick onto. Friends, the devil wants to drive some of you from God. From the house of God. And his main aim stick to God's word. Stick to him. And I'm not telling you this. I know some preachers will tell you, uh, you know, don't go away from my covering and start to scare you from going out of their, house, uh, of their churches. I would desire if you continue to stay. But don't leave God. Don't leave his, ho his house. Don't leave your, your, your allegiance to him. The devil, now, Sanballat and Tobias, don't call Nehemiah once. They call him, we are told, verse 4. Four times they sent me, Nehemiah, we want to talk to you. I am doing a great project. Nehemiah, we want to talk to you. I am doing a great project. Nehemiah, we want to talk to you. I am doing a great project. Nehemiah, we want to talk to you. I'm doing a great project. I want to see the four times. And I want to see the beauty. Nehemiah says, each time I gave them the same, the same message, same response. Same response, same message. And friends, without staying there, he didn't try to be creative. He didn't try to hang around. He didn't try. Same message. And I want to tell us, friends, we have God's true word. The same message. When Jesus is being tempted by the devil, he doesn't try to do so many things. He says, it is, it is written. Can we repeat that? It is, it is, it is written. That's our message to the devil. Do you have God's word in you? Stand on it. Resist the devil. Now, scheme number two that they use, it is what I call false rumor to cause fear. False rumor to cause fear. That is from verse 5 to verse 9. False rumor to cause fear. Now when they realize, kumwita kando imekata, shetani ni shetani, daimono ni daimono, ibilisi ni ibilisi. Ngoma, ni mbaya, akamua, Acha tume message mara ya tano. Lakini ina yukakuja na backup. Kakuja na barua. Ika mwambia, it is reported. Nata kesema, mesema ni ukweli. Imesemekana, nata nani ya mesema mulikuwa. That you are plotting to revolt against, and you are rebuilding the wall. Tate unataka ku, 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 ku revolt. Ate unataka kukua their king. And in fact, see here too, ata umeenda uka appoint a prophet. Waaze kusema, Nehemiah is our king. Ne, u, umetengeneza. Where do we go for our nini ya president? Ni kasadani. Ama ni? Ama ni nyayo. Where do we go for the nini of the... Ni kasadani? Nasikia venue kwa ready. Usha hita ata maabas and ask kwa inching. Venue, venue kwa tu ready. Ni mesikia. So Kuja, come to Semezane because Mamu itafika kwa uko maju. Na ikifika maju, hey bro, utajua. I, I don't know if so, some of us ili tufikia hivo. Chitu nge semaje. Ngeanza zile za, oi, sasa, so what, Ni ukweli? Yeah. Now, the sad part is that uh, I want to see this with Nehemiah. And I'm not speaking this as a perfect person or anything. I want to see Nehemiah, by God's grace, was building this wall purely for God. 
But many human beings, me and you included, even when we do great projects for God, many times we have this in us to a seen nature that wants to get something out of it. And our accuser knows. Our accuser knows. Because the devil is an accuser. And so when he does this to Nehemiah, Nehemiah stands and tells them, Janine, your response. He tells them, nothing like this you are seeing is happening. You are just making it up on your head. Iyo teni storya. Okay, my youth wants to make a storya jaba. Storya jaba for our elders. If you tap water, what you make catch ini? Wana sema. Wacha ni kuambi na ni. Wacha ni kuambi. Una 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 awa 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 buffaloes. Awa buffaloes wacha kupukuza alafu bande juu ya mti. Alafu upande juu ya muti ataanza kukojoa. Alafu <laughs> Niachane nayo, si ndio? <laughs> ndege inapita unasikia? Wacha nikwambie Motweri. Unaona hiyo ndege huko China? Watoto ndio wanatengeneza. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Nehemiah tells them, "Even the story of Jaba, nothing like that is going on." Rudi kama njema toko muambie, I know what I am doing. Okay, me in India na na ongeza. I know what I am doing. And without saying so much, friends, we have an accuser, the devil. One day in the book of Zechariah, Nehemiah uh, Joshua the priest, and call Ms. Mama in the throne of God. And the devil says, and accuse tayari kumu accuse. And some of us, if you are accused like Nehemiah, that kuna rumors in New Kweli, most probably in New Kweli, like the way you wanted to accuse the, the, the Yeshua, the high priest. New Kweli loved her. New Kweli, you know where you are at that you are not right with God. In fact, on a joy of it, at a comari, Jama Vitu Zingin, New Quelli, Zavitu Makun entertain New Quelli, New Quelli. And in that book of Zechariah, God Himself says, Nehemiah, uh, um, uh, Joshua, I will clothe you. I will clothe you. And he clothes Joshua the high priest because he was on rocks. I believe God is able to close us today. Those things that are in us that are not okay, that the devil is accusing us of, God is able to clothe us today. He's able to clothe me and you. And our call is to allow ourselves to be clothed. Are you sinning? Allow God to forgive your sin. Are you walking in the way of rebellion? Allow God to clothe you. So that the evil one will not get a way in. His scheme is to make you fear and so fall in his trap. Praise God. Number three. Scheme number three according to this verse. It is where the devil masquerades as an angel of light with an aim to intimidate. Sasa shetani amejaribu. Ame muambia kuja to meet. Akasema si kuji. Akajaribu tena unafanya imambo. Akamuambia ni story ya Najua chenye nafanya. Kakachi ni sini skima. Wakaitana, wakasema. Hui mseni mungumu. Chatuone. Anapendanga nini? Anapendanga church. Ok. Nasema, men of God, akibasikia. Yeye, ana humble. Na pia kuna mtu wakopangi kikifo. So, wacha tufanya hivi wakatafuta mtu anaitwa Shemaya verse 10 So amenda tuku visit ame come to visit the man of God akamwambia woi woi usikaribia hapa twende church twende the temple let us meet in the temple
behind closed doors. Tuende na tijifungie ndani sababu utauawa leo you you are dead you are in fact ni munge ugusha kufa kitambo No you you by the way uyu uyu prophet si 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 wa huko nje huyu ni muisraeli huyu ni mtu wao Twende 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 and this spiritual wisdom and understanding and Nehemiah mungu anataka unipe i want it how that message anamwambia should a man like me run away should someone like me go into the temple to save his life i will not go now scripture says in um, numbers 18:7 that it was not only the priests were allowed to go to the temple kwa hivyo Nehemiah alijua going, this is contradicting the word of god i mean ni, ni prophet ameongea like this is contradicting the word of god and some people say because alikuwa na serve na king there was a possibility na ee see me ijan ko word so it's a possibility alikuwa eunuch alikuwa castrated this a possibility and so pia he knew he can't go to hide in the temple Yes the law ilikuwa imesema sometimes kuna zile dhambi kuna zile vitu ambazo ungefanya mtu aende around to the temple but Nehemiah knew siki to kama hii but also him running would show something you remember to resist si ndio resist i manish run so he knew hapa uh, uh, na open door flani a uh, a uh, ni, ni prophet lakini hapana hapana scheme of the devil and the word of god has told us in first john chapter 4 verse 1 do not believe every spirit test the spirit to see whether they are from god because many prophets have gone out into all the world friends you may you may be able to move past the devil's traps that are set either by rumors or by fear but the devil may be a very schemer vibaya sana ameamua sasa hata atakuja kwa madhabao the word of god is telling us not every prophet is a prophet from god test every test every hata mimi Paul says even if an angel from heaven comes and contradict the word of God si fanyi si endi si mfuatili hata pasta Harriet akisema kitu ambacho kwa against the word of God si endi si fuatili hata your favorite prophet yule ambao unaochiki kwa TV yule ambaye you sit down to watch akisema anything that contradicts the word of god watch and useme ati oh sasa sinia ya ameongea si ende anaongea na god the the curtain has been torn all of us have an access to god praise god otherwise you will find yourself bado kwa church but you are deceived and the devil is happy because whether you are in church or you are in the club when you are in his hands he is happy bwana yesu asifiwe and i'm not telling you not to have faith on us as preachers i want you to have that yes but whatever we say be like the bereans in the book of acts go back to the scriptures alisema aje alisema ya kwamba to bias okay hapa sioni okay hapo ni hapa acha nimuulize pastor steve ulisema ya kwamba lakini okay uh, uh, okay sawa let us be alert and sober amen the last one and 
hizi these are not like zenye zimeishi kuwa dunia hizi ni zile tunapata kwa the book of uh, maya chapter 6 and 7 sio labda kuna zingine na kuna zitiku soma hapa ya kwamba the second corinthians 114 ya kwamba the, the, the angel the evil one can masquerade as the angel of light um, you go check on it i hope it's being projected uko so the last one is another scheme of the devil is to linger around longer sasa we are told in um, verse 15 that the war was complete the wall was completed in 52 days yes ukuta imemaliza kujengwa haleluya imemaliza lakini <laughs> lakini we are told in verse 17 that there were nobles in judah wenye bado waliendelea kuongea na Tobias juu Tobias alikuwa ameoa let me read that part for many in Judah were under oath to him since he was a son in law to Shekaniah son of Ara and his son Johanan and Mary the daughter of Meshulam son of Berekia so alikuwa na roots yes him Israeli lakini ako na roots huko even though after the war had been complete Tobias still lingered around longer na akatuma barua in fact inasemekana he says they kept reporting to me as good deeds and then telling him what i said and then to the Tobias sent letters to intimidate me friends when the devil finished tempting jesus in the book of luke chapter 4 verse 13 we are told that he left for an opportune time we know that in matthew 12:43 to 45 that when an evil one ametolewa the spirit ametolewa he goes lakini akienda anafika mahali ako zile za na nimeacha nani huko najua nimetolewa anarudi akipata nyumba bado iko safi anatafuta wengine I know we have weaknesses that keeps lingering around us inviting the evil one again and again but this is good news friends our good news is that the war has been complete god's work has been complete in christ and this promises us that one day we will have a completion it doesn't matter that which the devil brings again and again doesn't mean, mean how much the devil will linger in your round in your life around again and again i want to ask us let us keep on resisting let us keep on pushing away we say many may struggle for so long let me give you no i want you to us to keep on pushing for that which god does for us because friends the war has been complete and our victory is sure in jesus name so in conclusion We have a living hope. The devil has been defeated. defeated. What does God will of us? Number one, develop a working relationship with God. Get born again. Get yourself into a community. Take your walk with God seriously. Shetani ni adui. He is an enemy of God and so you are enemy too. If you want to be safe, you may assume he is not there and you remain to be there. You may fear him and you remain to be there. Utashtuka you remain to be there. The one thing we can do get into a working relationship, not a complicated relationship, not a once in a while relationship, a working relationship. Number two. Understand the devil's schemes. Don't let him get advantage over you. Understand his schemes. Number three, be alert. In chapter 7 from verse 1 to 3, Nehemiah points key people, get key past musicians and Levites. And even their character mattered too. And he says gate are not supposed to be open until a particular time and even put security post and i pray even in this church you be alert and that will we'll have many of us stand a security 
and do the will of God. And our homes will stand and be alert. So let us resist the devil. The accounts in Nehemiah is a clear sign in many ways on how to engage our enemy, the devil, and assist him. And the last one. Occupy. Occupy. Now, God would want you to occupy. Not to live in the fear of the devil. And then, talking to Pastor Harit, and I think it came to a realization that God doesn't want you to keep on fearing the devil. You shall pair already a platform. God wants you to occupy. Go. Worship him. Serve him. The walls can be rebuilt. And he says there were a few people in Jerusalem. Go occupy and he enlists people. And I pray today people can be enlisted to occupy for all that God has for them. Amen? Could we stand, all of us? And I want you to go before God. I... I don't, know, I don't know how God is speaking to you uh, even through that word. Go before God and speak to him. Speak to God as an individual. Ongena uh, mungu as an individual. Talk to him. And with all eyes closed. With all eyes closed. Are you here and you don't know God? You don't have a personal relationship with God. You know and you know and you know and you know that Aujaokoka. He's to the devil. That's the first place we can engage the war. And the war is won there. So come Aujaokoka na kuomba winuwe mkono tuombe na wewe. Aujaokoka na kuomba winuwe mkono tuombe na wewe. Because that's the very first place. You are here and you're not born again. I give you a chance to please lift your hand and we'll pray with you. We invite Jesus in your heart for salvation. Are you here? And to give us the very first opportunity. Are you here and you're not born again? Please lift your hand. At the very first place to engage the devil. If all of us who are here who are born again, God, I ask for grace, I ask for strength. Help us for anyone who could be caught up in the trust of the devil, who could have left Bethlehem to the place of the devil. Rescue us, O oh God. Whichever scheme we be in, whichever scheme, you know every scheme, I have not said everything, you know everything, God, how the devil has tempted us and kept us slaves. Free your people. Free your people to occupy Free your people to give you glory. Free your people to fulfill your plan. Free your people. Oh God. Free your people to worship you today. May all chains fall today, oh God. And help us to walk in victory. Help us to occupy. To occupy to our, to our relationship with all the dream that you have for us. To your will, oh God. In our families. Oh God.